Hi all, I'm Callie. Today I'm going to be making a Parmesan broth. This is so simple, so easy. It takes probably about 20 to 30 minutes, but you only need to be really present and doing something for about five. I got this idea because I save all of my cheese rinds. So in here I have my Parmesan rind and my Pecorino Romano rind. So you know at the end of these things, right, there's still a fair amount of cheese and I always wonder, you know, how can I reuse this? A lot of the time I actually just put this little guy in the freezer and I can pull this out and use whenever. In the past, I've also just made stocks. I've just thrown this in with my veggies to make a really beautiful stock or broth that the, this cheese kind of gives it this umami flavor, so you don't even have to add as much salt, and it adds this depth, this layers of flavor that you know you wouldn't get from normal vegetables, right? So rather than adding any other veggies today, uh, I'm just gonna throw these guys um, in and do a pure Parmesan pecorino broth. First, we're going to wash the rinds off to make sure there's no mold. And then we will put the rinds directly into a pot with simmering water. We let them simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we put it into a blender. We blend it up uh, and then we strain it. We strain it off to allow you know the solids to separate from the liquid and then you have your parmesan broth and that's literally it so simple so easy delicious perfect way to add umami to any of your dishes um, and to reuse you know something that you might already have at home so let's dive in i'm going to start by washing off the rind and i like to use this veggie brush and then we put these just directly into the broth So now we have the rinds in the water, they're up to a simmer, and we're gonna wait 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll blend. All right, so after about 25 minutes of simmering, this beautiful Parmesan broth is done. And I wish that you could smell it in here. It smells incredible, just like ooey gooey cheese, but it's all right here in this little pot. So I'm going to pour this liquid and rind in just directly into this blender. We are going to blend this guy up and then we're going to strain it and that is it. Blended it so the little bits of parmesan were really tiny. The interesting thing about this broth is that the pecorino rind is um, kind of black and so the broth is a little black. And so I'm wondering if that is an issue, um, but I'm hoping that it's okay. It smells so good. Gosh, it's incredible. So now I'm just going to put all of this, the rind, the water, all of it, just directly into the strainer. Now we get to try it and see how it tastes. Wow. And it's just, it tastes just like Parmesan. Like I said, it's a little purple, so it's a little weird in terms of the color, but like you could just eat a whole broth of this and that's all you need. You don't even need anything else. You don't need to add any salt, obviously, because the cheese is already pretty salty. It's just like a blast of umami. And so adding this like a little bit to deglaze your pan or add to your sauce or just adding this to a soup, um, there are so many different ways to use this, I can't wait to explore.